Hello, this is Elizabeth, and I am the Catholic lady, and it's been a very long time. Life got in the way of um, my blog and finishing up this story that I was reading. The Great Lion of God by Taylor Caldwell. I said, I'll be back with chapter 39 in a week. <laughs> well, that was almost 10 years ago, so, but here I am. I'm back to finish it. And in that time period, it appears that this book is now available again. Uh, not this particular one. This was an old library book that I picked up at a garage sale. But, uh, or at least I think I did. <laughs> it's been so long. And um, so anyway, um, my life has, has been through a lot of changes in the last 10 years. Um, I got a full-time job that had crazy hours and it just was impossible to try to do these recordings. And so it kind of slid to the wayside. And then uh, three years ago, we had, in 2020, we had, um, COVID happened, and then 2021, um, my body revolted, and I had a pulmonary embolism, could have died, <laughs> and then three weeks later, I was diagnosed with ovarian cancer, and upon testing, I was in stage four, but as you can see, I'm alive <laughs> and uh, I had some wonderful doctors that um, pulled me back from the brink and I have to praise God and thank him every day for saving my life I also during that time period unfortunately lost my husband and then a month later my 14 year old dog <laughs> two days before Christmas passed away. So let's just say 2021 was a terrible year. But I'm trying to make the best of it. And I know that the Lord has something for me to do. And so I am back to this. I have a, a need to finish things. I don't like leaving things unfinished. So I'm definitely going to finish this book. And then we'll go from there and we'll see if I just start up my old blog as a vlog, <laughs> video blog, and um, we can talk about uh, Catholicism, Christianity, um, the fact that I, I used to be a Baptist and I'm not anymore, haven't been for over 20 years, and um, anyone who's dealing with cancer or the loss of a spouse, we can go into all kinds of different um, discussions. And um, I'm going to do part of them probably here, and then I'll probably do part of them on Instagram. I am a big fan of The Chosen. You can see my shirt. I have the prayer books the study guides, and several different copies <laughs> of the DVDs. They are working on season three now. And regardless of whether you are a Christian or not, there's millions and millions of people that are seeing this show every day that have fallen in love with it Generation Z, it's unbelievable the number of young people that are finding this and um, finding out about Jesus where they never did before. And so um, it's a wonderful way of telling the story from the perspective of his followers. And um, 
they do stick to a lot of scripture. I've been documenting the scripture from every episode. I have a group of ladies that comes over once a week and watches, and I've provided them with the scriptures so that they can um, look them up and, and read them. And um, so I'm, I'm trying to do God's work, and I want to be here as an inspiration for those who may have gotten a recent diagnosis of cancer, that you can survive it and you can move on. And hopefully, you know, you're at a point that is still salvageable. I was stage four, but look at me. <laughs> I am cancer free and I am still on medication. I will be on medication probably for the rest of my life. But um, whatever time God gives me, I'm going to be happy with that. Glory to God in the highest. Thank you very much. I will get back with you soon with the next installment of Great Lion of God by Taylor Caldwell. God bless.